finally we got a new update in Isonzo, it is the Piave map, which is the second installment of the German intervention. The next one is Monte Grappa, which we are expected to get till the end of quarter 2, this means by the end of June. In this new map, the Germans attack to capture a bridgehead over the Piave river. Historically, after the defeat at Caporetto, the Italian army was in disarray and could not stabilize the front. There were some occasional fightings going on, but the Germans and Austro-Hungarians were following the retreating Italian army. The Piave River was where Armando Diaz, the new commander-in-chief, decided to hold the line even though the British and French thought of it not to be suitable. But the Italians managed to stop and hold the central powers there. The map is unlike any other map before, as it twists, it is not a straight. There are four sectors. The first three have all a zone to capture and a destructible objective, while the last zone consists of a long bridge with a capture zone at the end of it. The bridge can be destroyed, yet unlike in any other maps, here anybody can build pontoon bridges, I'm talking about the attackers. There are two and positions of them are predetermined. You can build one section at a time, a bridge is made out of four sections which facilitates the crossing onto the river. Before you get there, however, you have firstly to fight through vineyards and urban environment, capture ruins of a castle, blow up artillery guns in the village. Targets in the next sector consist of a small hill overlooking the village. On it is an artillery gun that can be destroyed, while the capture zone is an abbey at the end of the village. The third zone is located by the river. Here are mostly fields with some farmhouses. There is again an artillery piece to be destroyed and a house to capture, which seems to have been the office of high command or something similar. And after this you progress to the before mentioned bridge. Beside the new map, we got additional options for hosting a game, as well as two new pistols. The Italians get the Beretta Modello 1917, while the Germans get the Mauser model 1914. Both are semi-automatic pistols. Talking about pistols, they also change some stats, mostly rate of fire to most pistols. That's all that is to this update. I hope you find this video instructive and I will see you all on the battlefields. Gaming Teacher, out.